Drizzy Drake's son. What does that mean? There's a lot of friends of me that are really nice to me. Yeah, what do they say when they're being when they're being nice? They say, I like you because you're being nice to me. And what do they say when they're being mean? They say, I don't like you because you're being mean to me. And were you? I wasn't mean to them. I ain't gonna lie. This motherfucking kid right here is finna touch so much. It's finna touch so much fucking cootie cat. When he grows up, bro, it's not finna, it's not finna be nothing for him, bro. He already got, he's already, um, is that blonde or brown hair? Blue eyes? Skin color? Oh my, and he's Drake's son? Oh my, he's finna go yeah, crazy. This is what girls love right here. Are you sure? I'm sure. As soon as he grows up, he's finna go crazy on me. No, I'm not. Why you look away? They were fighting me, so I fight them back. How you fight them back? They're fighting me, so I fight them back. How you fight them back? I just put my hand over his arm, then twist, not not twist his leg, but I just twist him on the floor. Did you ever punch anybody in the nuts? <laughs> no, never. Mm -hmm. That's funny. This Can you read? No, I can't. Why not? This? Because, but there's a, a hand right here. that can be. Oh, shut the fuck up, Kyle. nerd. What does nerd mean? Too smart How for old school. is he? How old is yeah. he, son? Do you think if you had a better dad, you would be able to read? This is my better dad. Aww. Do you think if he did a better job, he's capping, but aww. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's a funny dad. Also, he does a lot of jokes. Does Adonis ever try to cock block you so he doesn't split his inheritance? No, no, wait. What the fuck? No, no, not really. No. But now that you think about it, I was thinking about it though. Like, wait, what is that? Does he ever try to cock block you so he doesn't split his inheritance? No, no, wait. No, no, not really. No. But now that you think about it, I was thinking about it though. Like, yeah, no, he definitely just like always is like vibing out with me, telling me like how great I am as like a father, like a single father. Mm -hmm. So maybe he is trying to like deliver a message. You know, Glenny Balls used to be a dad. He used to be a dad. He didn't like it, he quit. It's crazy. Yeah, canceled it. Sad. Left alone. Left about a mountain. Yeah. You're sick. <laughs> Bruh. Where are you from? I'm from um, Toronto, Canada, where we are. Is it true that the most beautiful girls in the world are here in Toronto? I would, I would say so, yes. How'd you get them here from Miami? You flew them in your plane? <laughs> Um, oh man, um, that's a valid point. Do they come in your plane? Yeah, yeah. You have a plane? I have a plane. Do you have a bed on there? I do, four. Four beds? Mm -hmm. What about snacks? What is snacks, his face tattoo? Nice. What are you into? What are you into? Cheez-Its? I got that. Mm -hmm. What else? What the fuck is going on? Glenny? Kit Kats? I got many ones. Fuck yeah. Did you just ask what kind of snacks Glenny Balls is into? <laughs> Sorry, Glenny. Fuck it. We have a time constraint. <laughs> How private is the plane? It's private. Can you walk around in your underwear? I could, I guess. I mean, I travel pretty heavy. You don't wear underwear? No, I said I travel heavy. What is that? What does that mean? It's not, it's not what like that mean? Uh, it's not a. It sounded dirty. I don't know. What it's not like. A, I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it sounded bad. I I I uh. I have a lot of people on the plane. Mm -hmm. You ever had Bill Clinton on your plane? I haven't. You have? I haven't. True or false? You had a necklace made mm -hmm. with 42 diamonds. Mm -hmm. Of the 42 times you considered getting proposed. Well, yeah, it was it was more like a it was more just a joke, but obviously people took it. Well, I thought he was dead ass. Pretty literal. I was just trying to 
have an interesting, interesting story, and then it obviously. Glenny Balls has an interesting story. What is it, Glenny? He has a necklace for every single time he's ever thought about boobs. That's it right there. We got to get it redone though, because he got that when he was 14. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's racing. Yeah, well, I feel like we'd all probably. I mean, yours is yours is heavy. It's but, extensive. Yeah, as it should be. Yeah, of course. I'm not mad about it. By the way. One of the greatest things that we have on Earth. Necklaces? Tits. Tits. Oh. Yeah. What's the right thing for me to call women? Bitches? Are you a, are y'all a, for you, for everybody that's watching now, everybody that's watching YouTube, are y'all a ass guy? Are y'all an ass man? Are y'all um, a, a titty boy? Because for me personally, I'm a fucking ass man. I need to hand me that ass, bitch, you know? Nothing personal, you know, but just, you know, just... That ass is, I ain't gonna let the ass attracts me more than the titties do. If you got good, if you got, fuck, I'm not fucking into this shit. They just, they gonna edge me, bitch. Uh, For me. <laughs> I, uh, I, I actually am proud to say that I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't really drop the B word like, like in person. I've heard you say it before. No, like, I'll, I'll like, I'll say it. Drake, I've heard you say it. No, I've said it. Drake. Come on now. Hey. Fuck, why are these motherfuckers doing just fuck? I'm proud to say that I don't I don't I, I I don't really drop the B word like like in person. I've heard you say it before. No, like I'll I'll like I'll say it. Drake, I've heard you say it. No, I've said it in Like I always said, Drake. Let's be real, buddy. You ain't got a cap to us. We know we know what you do. We do we do in raps. Drink a lot, a lot. Say a <laughs> lot after that. Say it again, but say it, say afterwards. Say a lot. I've said it in raps. I mean, I've had obviously a, a long career. Mm. I've said it in raps, a fair share. Yeah, right. But like, I'm not really just walking around the streets like, bitch, bitch, bitch. bitch. Mm. You're saying hose. So you're saying I should <laughs> say hose. Hose is better than bitch for sure. Okay. Are you sure you're an executive producer? Yeah. So, I said, what's up, ho? What up, bitch? Hmm. Hoes do slide off your tongue, like, a little more easier. Like, make it feel like it's just, you know. Because when you say bitch, like, bitch, you know, got a little the emphasis on the B. Hmm. What up, ho? I ain't gonna ho says ho is still fucking crazy. Um, Euphoria. Oh, really? Which is a television show. Um, what does that mean, executive producer? What does it mean? It just means that you're, you know, executive producing. Right. The show, right? There's a lot of women who want to executive produce your baby. Is that true? Probably. <laughs> Why don't these girls just adopt? I'm not a rocket scientist. I agree with you. That's that is that's that's a really valid point. Wait, let me do that again for the take. Why don't these bitches just adopt? Oh <laughs> what? It's <laughs> a valid point. Nigga, like fucking chuck lights can run fucking lips. Lots of chasing around, a lot of girls trying to hunt you down. You ever think about just getting a procedure and having your wiener removed? No. No. I just need a drink. This is, Glenn, you want a drink? What do you got? I don't know, whatever, just like a drink. Yeah, thank you. That's like tequila passion fruit. I usually don't drink on the job, but I will. <laughs> if there was a Hall of Fame Damn. for life, I mean, this gotta be a nice, Hall of Fame. who lived the best life? You think you'd be in it? Who's lived the best life? Yeah. <sighs> oh man, I mean, I, I definitely for like if there was like a like Canada one, Canadian Life Hall of Fame. Yeah, because it would be like Mike Myers, Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling probably lived a pretty sweet Reynolds, life. Dan Aykroyd. Again, Patron, like invented it, so had to, had to live like a decent life, right? Dan Aykroyd invented Patron. Yeah, right. What? Yeah. Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. Like the Blues Brothers, Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, that's his. No, he did it. Yeah, that's his liquor. Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, did not invent Patron. Yeah, he did. 
Who do you think invented it, T-Pain? You guys been drinking, huh? <laughs> Dan Aykroyd invented Patron. Dude, Dan Aykroyd actually invented Patron. What about a Hall of Fame for being an absolute thought? Would you be in that? Oh my gosh, no, bro. Good. This nigga is grilling him. Oh and I could have invented Patron. Dude, yeah, Man, we want to give me some of that drink. Oh my gosh. This is a good for being an absolute thought. thought. Would you be in that? Stop. You know who would? Mm, I'll take that. I'd be there, though. Probably me, me and GB together. Busts right next to each other. Right? Yeah, that'd be great. No, Dan Hackray didn't invent Patron. Do you feel like you have a lot of feelings? I do. What's your favorite thing to feel? Oh, uh, I like a cold plunge. Oh, really? Yeah. Like I like to get out of a cold plunge. This and like nasty. Like whatever that feeling is. Cold. Fair. Mm -hmm. But just like what other, what else, what else comes with it too? Small penis. Again, fair, but I like the other things that I feel as well. How about this? Let's do a thing where I just name a feeling and you tell me if you like to feel it. Okay. Romantic. Yeah. Jealous. No. Fingers in your booty hole. No. No. It's fine, it's just yes or no, you answered your question. I know. You have that, more to say? That's your top three? It's not my top three. My top three? <laughs> You said romantic one, booty hole, and uh, jealous would be tied for two. Two way tie. I have no fucking words to you say. You like when you're doing a, do you like whenever you're, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Glenn, he has chocolate. Do I really? Fuck. And he's, he's. You want to hear what's crazy? That's not even from right now. <laughs> it's from last week. Stop. Hashtag LA nice. That nigga's gulping that fucking tequila. Oh my gosh. It's that shit. Stop. That shit must not have nobody that much on um, tequila, I'm not my bitch. You. you like to gamble? I love to gamble. I sounded way too enthusiastic about that, but yeah, I really do like to gamble. And what's the best thing to bet on? Anything but sports, because that nigga lost a whole bunch of fucking um, money in that shit. Um, fatherhood. You bet on fatherhood. <laughs> you can always bet. You bet on fatherhood a lot? I just meant it more like an encouraging, like you can always bet on fatherhood. What the fuck? Right? I've never heard that before. <laughs> I just meant like, like for, for all the people out there, you can always bet on fatherhood. House always wins though, right? Have you ever bet on yourself? Oh, that's a good one too. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely bet on yourself if you're confident. That's how Pete Rose went down. Oh, wow. Correct. All-time hit leader. Did he just get a fucking refill, bitch? You could definitely bet on yourself if you're confident. That's how Pete Rose went down. Oh, wow. Correct. All-time hit leader. What the so fuck? He bet, he bet on his own hits. He was on the Reds. He bet the Reds to win. He definitely got a fucking oh, refill on that shit. Mm -hmm. Right? You might make more money betting on your own hits than fatherhood. But you can always bet on fatherhood. Do you like our gift? Yeah. You didn't say... Thank you. And number two is my favorite number. You like going number two? Yeah. So it's a good gift? Yeah. Well, <laughs> is there anything you want to say or anything like that? Bye-bye. Even outside of bye-bye, oh, is there any one more thing you forgot to say but you were about to say it? I forgot to say that I'm a shooting star. Someone needs to quote that and put it on the shirt. Yeah. All right, this is the last video. And then, um, I'm gonna have a Rock League. I'm gonna fucking, uh, what time I gotta wake up in the morning? <sighs> and if it, fuck. And if you're new in this bit, make sure you hit the fucking subscribe button. Fuck. Damn.
Mm. Mm. All right.